Your first step is to pull out the lower dish rack. Next, unscrew the retainer to release the lower wash arm. Pull off the water supply tube from the pump and motor assembly. Remove the screws to release the pump outlet. Use a wrench to secure the old wash impeller as you remove the screw. Use a flathead screwdriver to gently pry the old impeller loose. Be aware this may require some effort. Next, remove the screws to release the separator assembly. Remove the grind bushing, followed by the chopper blade and spring. Lift out the drain check ball or balls. Remove the screw and lift out the drain cover and gasket. Remove the old drain impeller. Again, this may require some effort. Use a flathead screwdriver to pry off the old motor shaft seal from the pump housing. You're now ready to install the new impeller and seal kit. First clean off the motor shaft. Then apply liquid dish soap or rinse aid to the new seal. Slide the new seal over the motor shaft into the pump housing, making sure the graphite ring is centered with the shaft. Slide the new drain impeller on, followed by the drain cover and gasket. Secure with the screw. Replace the check ball or balls. Align the chopper blade and spring and slide over the drain impeller, making sure the end of the spring inserts into the hole. Replace the separator assembly by lining up the port at the bottom with the port on the drain cover and secure the screws. Insert the new wash impeller onto the drain impeller shaft and secure with the washer and screw. Once assembled, be sure the impeller rotates smoothly. Replace the old separator gasket with the new one. Replace the pump outlet and secure the screws. Realign the water supply tube and slide it onto the pump outlet. Replace the lower wash arm. and secure with the retainer. Make sure the wash arm spins freely and replace the lower dish rack.